This video explains how you can configure WebHarvey to extract property details from Zillow's property listings page. So as the first step, I have loaded the property listings page of Zillow within WebHarvey's browser. And once I have done that, I can now start the configuration process by clicking the start button under the configuration pane of the home tab. And now I can start selecting data. Now due to the specific nature of the Silos website, we need a specific or a special technique of configuration which is explained in this video. So here are the property listings on the first page and if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see that there are more pages. In this case there is only one page. In any case I can click on the next button and set it as the next page link so that WebHarvey knows how to get property listings from multiple pages. So I have now configured the pagination. Now let's extract the property details. For that I click on the first property tile on the right hand side and from the resulting capture window I click on the capture HTML button and I can see the HTML code behind the portion where I clicked and in this code there is the URL of the property details page. So to get only this URL I click on apply regex button and then I need to write a regular expression which would select exactly the URL. I have already done that. Let me copy the regex string and paste it here. By the way, you can find all these regular expression strings or JavaScript codes which I'll be using in this video in the video description below. So I click on the apply button and you can see that WebHarvey has selected just the property details URL from the entire HTML snippet. Now I click on follow this link button so that I can load it and then select the property details. So I click on follow this link and WebHarvey will load the property details page. Now in this case you can see that the property details is actually displayed in a pop-up over the main listings page and you have a button here to expand it to a full page. Now Silo has two types of designs to display property details. One is like this where the information is displayed in a pop-up and in the other case when you click on the property tile in the initial listings page it will directly take you to the expanded page. To, so to handle both these situations we need to, to expand the pop-up so that it is displayed in full page and so we can extract both types of listings using a single configuration. So for that I click anywhere on the page and select the run script option and I need to write a script here which would click this button. I could have also just clicked on the expand button and select the click option. That would just work fine but for more correctness and since this is already a detailed video, let's go through the more correct method. So this is the code which I have already written. I will paste this code here and apply. And you can see that the property dis listing is displayed in a full page now. Now I can start selecting the details. So whenever possible you can directly click on a text or item to capture it. So let me select all these basic details first. Now the recommended method for selecting data from a details page 
when the data which you need to extract occurs after a heading text is to use the capture following text method. So this guarantees more correctness irrespective of page layout changes. So for example, if I need to extract systemate, you can see that the systemate value always occur after the heading test systemate. So instead of clicking directly on the value, I click on the heading which is guaranteed to occur before it and then select the capture following text option from the capture window which would select the correct value and then click on the capture text option. So in similar fashion I can extract details like type, year built etc. I'm not going through all these details but all each of these details can be selected using the capture following text method. Now you can see that all the facts and figures are not shown. You need to click on this link here to display all of them. You can click on this link and select the click option but for more correctness we will use a JavaScript for the same which I have already prepared. Again you can find all these codes in the video description below. Paste it and apply. And you can see that additional details are also displayed. So from here you can select more details Okay, so that takes us to the price history and tax history data. Now, one thing you need to understand is that when you have followed a link from the initial start page, that is, we are currently on the details page of the property. Now from here, during configuring and also during mining, WebRV will select only the data which you click on. There is no pattern detection in the details page. So even though this is a table with repeating rows, WebRV will not be able to automatically extract each of the rows. You can individually click on each of these cells and extract them or you can extract the entire table onto a single cell. So for that you can click on the price history heading and click on the capture following text option. You can see that the entire table is uh, displayed and you can capture text to a single cell. Likewise for tax history. Okay, so in this case the capture following text option obtained another text and it's not our requirement so instead we can, we, we can click on one of the cells and apply capture more content multiple times till then the table is selected all right so let's scroll back up and see how we can extract the images now you can click on the image and select capture image option to select each of these images but if you want WebRV to automatically identify each of these images what you can do is click on the first image click on capture HTML click on capture more content and apply regex and this regex would select the image URL from the HTML snippet which is in the preview area so the regex for that would be this and when I apply it you can see that the image URL of the first image is displayed in the preview now we can click on the capture image button and WebRV has automatically identified that there are multiple images on this page and asks you whether to capture all of them you click yes 
and give it a name images now we can stop the configuration you can optionally save it if you want to edit it later or you can start mine using the configuration and web harvey will ask you to select a folder where downloaded images needs to be placed you can select the folder or if you click cancel it will extract image urls instead so web harvey is starting the mining process and let's wait for the data to appear in the data table so mining did took some time and i stopped the mining since it was not returning any results and i tried to edit the configuration and i see that silo has come up with a captcha form now when this happens the only option within web harvey is to manually solve it within the browser so that it will not appear for quite some time so i stop the configuration and click on i'm not a robot button since and it will ask me to verify next so this can happen in your case also so if it's mining is not uh, returning any data then try to edit the configuration and you can see the captcha form solve it and then start mining again and if you log in to silo using an account then there are less chances of this occurring so we recommend that you log in using your account and perform the extraction and as you can see web harvey has come up with the details of the first property listing likewise it will uh, extract more listings on the page and continue mining